What is your background in European I radiology? I've on the executive of the European Society of Radiology for many years and was chairman of the Education Committee prior to taking up my present role as scientific director of the European Board of Radiology. So they had many initiatives, but a principle would be improvement and homogenization of the standard of European radiology training across a very wide and enormous Europe. So far, a huge amount of work has been put into this on a voluntary basis, involving case collection, case editing, uh, all of these activities, examiners, etc., etc. And we believe we have produced a very unique examination. It's uniquely European. It's not national. It's uniquely European. It incorporates all sorts of educational principles as applied in countries throughout Europe. And secondly, it is robust and of a good and high standard. The, the general response has, I would have to say, be, been overwhelmingly supportive and positive. Radiologists are interested in standards and they're interested in something that assesses standards. The candidates have been from the most senior of radiologists with an international reputation to radiologists who are just exiting training. And the reason that is the case is because it's seen as being a challenge by individual radiologists. A challenge to prove that they are up to date, a challenge to prove that they have the knowledge base that is appropriate and is sanctioned by the European Board of Radiology and ultimately the European Society of Radiology as being the sort of standard that should be achieved to practice as an autonomous consultant radiologist in general radiology. If you were a resident or a newly qualified radiologist, um, what would you say to yourself to encourage yourself to take the European diploma? I would definitely feel if I was on my career path some decades ago at a certain stage and even later but I would definitely feel that this would give me an edge on others. It's an achievable examination if you've done your study, it's a fair examination, it's robust, its system is transparent. I would be very happy to take that examination, I would want to take that examination. I think it's important to point out too that the results of the examination, unless a candidate requests otherwise, are confidential. So that radiologist, if they're unsuccessful, they don't have to worry about information from that going out anywhere else. We will be encouraging for them to try it again, and hopefully they will be successful the next time.